What is up, everybody? Mirage Corn here, also known as Raj Former on the internet, and I'm back with another track. Today, we're going to be talking about PC gaming and my experience. Not your experience, my experience. I've been making and playing on my computer over here uh, for a few weeks now. I, it, I'm very new to the scene of PC gaming. I have been playing mostly consoles uh, before. I've been playing PS2 ever since I was three years old. Here's a cute picture of me and my dad playing video games when I was three. I broke my arm. He's like, hey, Roger, here's a PS2. I feel bad. So then I played PS2 um, all my like childhood. Then I moved up to Xbox 360, really found my home there, got into gaming way, way more uh, than I was ever into PS2. And then I went to PS4 and then eventually PC over there. Uh, and it's a new experience for me because PC and consoles, they fight, people fight for them, I guess. I don't think they really fight, but people that are like on the internet, blah, 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 this one's better, this one's better, this one's worse, blah, blah. And pe people usually say PC is the master race. Now, I'm not particularly in that camp. Like, I don't really think that PC is the master race, but I do believe that it's the best way to play video games uh, out there right now. But I'm going to be talking about my experience. Um, kind of comparing and contrasting uh, the PS4 and the PC. So here is my thing. So first things first, the straight playing video game experience. Easily better on PC, like easily by far. If you're going to be playing a game, it's usually on PC. Like PC is probably the best way to play a game and I kind of feel like, wow, I was missing out when I was not playing on PC. Like I was playing games like that are really old, like Just Cause 2. I was playing that on P Xbox and I was like, Playing, I, I went on PC and I turned up all the settings to like everything anti aliasing up, VSync on, everything up. It was running like 70 frames per second. And oh my god, that game looked so pretty and it was a last gen game. So, like, there is no gen on PC. Like, a game just comes out and it looks beautiful. Uh, and that's what I love about it. Like, I can, I can go back and I can play a game from like like 15, 20 years ago, and I could play a game that's going to come out in 10 years from now. Like, there's no limits in terms of that. I can just play a game whenever, and it usually works. And there's some problems with optimization. Like, I was very, very... I got a very bad introduction to the PC gaming landscape because I bought uh, Arkham Origins, and apparently that port is very bad, and it really is because I was starting up a game, and it just crashed. And I was like, oh, let me just go see what's going... Oh my god, they're revealing the Joker? Oh my gosh, crashed. Oh, so that, that I, I, I'm not going to finish that game. So there's a lot of bad ports, of course, but there's also a lot of bad ports on P PS4. So, I mean, it kind of evens itself out. Um, but other than that, I really, really like the PC gaming side of playing games on everything. It's just really fun. It's really easy, and it's super cheap. Like, that's the most known thing about uh, gaming on a PC. It is the cheapest. Like, it is, if you want to, if you're a cheapskate, build a PC for, like, 600 bucks and then just buy every game at, like, four bucks on a Steam sale. Like, you'll be fine. You're good. You're going to have hours and hours of enjoyment. Like, legitimately, that's the way you want to do it if you're going to be a cheapskate. Console gaming is not the way for you, even though it's a cheaper investment. But other than that, moving on from there, uh, the thing that really pisses me off about a PC is the sound and the heat. And that is something that you can, I can technically change it. But it's something that no one changes, and it's super expensive to change, and it's complicated to change. And... It's very annoying. Like, right now, I'm going to be quiet for three seconds. No, that's not my mic. Had That's really bad background noise. That's my computer, buddy. That is my computer running on full blast with a GPU on and a few other stuff. And it's just running. It's just running. It's just running. Like, that's 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 a loud PC. And that's how PCs are usually. usually PC, PCs are usually known for being super loud and hot and heating up a room to, like, a very high degrees, even when it's, like, winter. Like, right now, if I were to walk outside, I'd be freezing because this room is heated up. I have, like, free heating right now, and it's pretty cool. But other than that, it just gets very hot. Like, it's going to say hot, it's loud, it's very annoying when I'm trying to do videos or podcasts especially. It's annoying, it's an annoying thing, and it's something that I can change, but it's going to have to take a lot of time, one, and then money, because I have to get a new, probably a new GPU, because I need to get a silent one, I need to get a new fan, I need to get a new heatsink, probably might even get a new uh, motherboard or CPU. Like, it's going to take a lot of money for me to make this uh, machine silent, and PS4 and Xbox One, and even 360, those consoles were silent, especially Xbox 360 Slim, those consoles were like silent. And if it got 
like loud, you called the freaking manufacturer. That's another thing. Manufacturers. If I if I broke my PS4 right now, if I were like if I were to take my PS4 over there and throw it out a window, you know what I'll call? I'll call so I'll call Sony. I'll be like, yo, Sony, um, I broke my PS4. And like, oh, okay, we can either do something for you or not do anything for you. PC. Oh, I broke my GPU, or I broke my this. I need to troubleshoot what's going on, and I call the specific manufacturer. Like that's annoying to me. Like I don't call one place. I call the parts for that place. Like I need to figure out what part is broken. I need to figure out this. Like it's a lot of troubleshooting involved, and that is, in and also in terms of video games. Like if I'm playing a game, it crashes. I need to troubleshoot it myself. There's no me calling a place. I'm troubleshooting it myself. I'm going on forums. I'm looking it up. There's no user friendly there. I am looking up everything. Not me calling someone and them figuring out. I'm looking up everything. And that, there's there's not very, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of barriers to entry of, of playing a game here. Like, you can't just plug and play. You can't just like, any idiot can put in a PS4 and just be like, Bleh, video games. Not every person can hook up a PC, connect to the internet, and then play a video game. It takes actually some form of knowledge and some form of interest in what you're doing. Any idiot can plug into a Wii U into a wall and play Mario Golf. But not every idiot can plug a PC into the wall and download Steam and download drivers and update drivers and download motherboard drivers and then download, finally download Uplay and then download Assassin's Creed. So, that's kind of my experience with PC. I love it. It's fun. I'm editing stuff on it. It's fast. It's awesome. I have so many games to play. Just Cause is amazing on it. Um, Tales of the Borderlands is pretty on it. It's great. It's fun. But then you get into the little things where it's like, oh, drivers are broken. This is broken. Blah, blah. PC gaming is definitely not the mass race, but it's easily the best way to play a video game in a general sense. So... That is my video. That are my. Those are my thoughts. Everybody, want to know more about my thoughts? Want to know more about my life? Go to rogerformer.com. Stalk my life there. Want to stalk my life even more? Go to twittercom rogerformer. You want to stalk my life even more? Go ahead. Go on twitchtv rogerformer. You want to be the greatest stalker of them all? Go to rogerformer.tumblr.com and read my writing. Because only three of you probably do that. So guys, thank you for doing this. Thank you for watching this video. It means a lot to me. Click a thumbs up if you like it. Click the down, don't click the down button. Please don't do that. And then if you want to talk to me, you can email me. You can do all that stuff. Rogerformer.com. Thanks, everybody. Oh, bonus points coming up soon.